It's like a weird light shining. Okay, oh, we're in drive. I had to change my battery because it's Vlogmas, you guys. Don't know if you heard, but there's this thing called Vlogmas where you vlog every day till Christmas. Oh my, I literally just pulled in front of that person's car and there's a pillman in there. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, it's, oh my God, that actually looks like Jason Momoa in there. Can you guys see? I'm actually not making that up. What if that was actually Jason Momoa? Should I go say hi? I don't think that's him. Oh, no, definitely not. Can you guys see in there? There you guys can't see. Do they have the eggnog? They don't have the eggnog yet? One moment, please. I'll get in a quick second. Okay. I'm going to have peppermilk. Oh, I was really excited about this eggnog. I really wanted the eggnog. Okay, what should I get? Chicken nuggets? Yes, away. Have the it's Christmas time. Does it start in December? Probably. Well, it was a fail. Just trying to do some holiday new things for McDonald's. McRib. Alright, we're just gonna do a little late night mukbang with no theme. Every new Prada person. Sorry about the way. What oh. can I get for you today? Um, can I get a number six, please? What kind of sauce? No sauce. What can I drink? Uh, I'll have a orange like Fanta. Okay. And you guys don't have the eggnog shake, do you? Sorry. The eggnog shake. Do you have that? No. Okay. Uh, that's okay then. That's it. All right. Your total will be eight dollars and sixty-four cents. Okay. Thank you. I'm regretting my life decision by coming here. Oh my god, this this line. Is this gonna be this dark? I hope not. Hi, my name's Trish. What's up? I'm a vlogger. Take me serious. <laughs> I wish I could talk like that all the time. Take me serious. The longest line ever. Okay, um, hi, it's Thanksgiving, and um, yeah, I did have a Thanksgiving lunch, which wasn't really a lunch. Check the vlog channel. Um, I, I mean, it was it was a lunch, but it wasn't a Thanksgiving lunch. It was like lobster mac and cheese. And honestly, this is gonna take forever to get through this line. So why don't I start you back up when we get closer? Okay, I'm really not trying to be dramatic, but this might be the longest McDonald's line I've ever waited in. I literally been sitting in like ten minutes. Oh, hi. Hi. Yes, you can take my pay money. My money, my payment. It's gonna be really dark. Do I even have enough cash? I hate using my 20s. I have a little 20 department of my billfold and I don't like to dip into it. I just don't. Mama said, don't give up. It's a little complicated. I've been doing TikToks with my puppy all Thanksgiving. What have I been doing on Thanksgiving? Um, does anyone find a weird Happy Thanksgiving text? I think they're weird. I never quite understood the Merry Christmas I love. Happy birthday, great. Happy Thanksgiving? So if I didn't respond to you, it's nothing personal. I didn't respond to anyone, literally nobody. Muck's teeth got me a little bit and it doesn't look bad, but it freaking hurts. Uh, that's for sure. I wish I had more lighting in here. Don't people know I'm recording? I'm a YouTuber. Yeah, I'm going to Chicago tonight with Jason at midnight. We're taking a red eye, and which means we'll probably get to um, Chicago at 9 a.m. So hopefully we'll sleep on the plane. He got the tickets, and I don't know what airline, and I'm praying to God it's not United. United has the worst first class, unless you get one of those bougie planes. There's a, there's a very rare instances where you get like a pod in a United first class. Like when you go from Denver to LA, I've gotten it twice, even though it's a really short flight. Like twice I've gotten those co like cushy AirPods, or like AirPods, um, pods, I guess. And there's only that one time. Or, or those two times. And every other time, if you don't get those, it's the freaking worst. Like the seats, do not go back. You get like one drink, even in first class. You don't get to board first, which also defeats the purpose of first class. So, just you know, first world problems over here. Hi. Hi. It's gonna be okay. Just new Starbucks. Ooh, that's beautiful. I gotta take that up. Actually, I was gonna throw that in the back. 
<laughs> Thank you. It's a little oh god, this smells really good. Really even looking forward to an eggnog shake, but also okay, we'll get that later in the month. Yeah, I just crave fast food. I don't sometimes I don't. Sometimes I go through spurts where I'm like, yeah, fast food sounds disgusting, but we're getting on a plane and like you know, I don't like plain food. And Jason like eats one meal a day. He like never eats. So I gotta feed myself these days, you know what I'm saying? He does eat, but Sometimes he goes through spritz. He either eats like a lot or like he's always on a diet, even during the holidays, which I am too. I'm like, I gotta eat healthier, which I do. So I'm doing music videos. Thank you. Orange Fanta. No, Don't go wrong. It's a little complicated. It's just a lot of TikTokers do that. If you guys were a TikToker, you would know. TikTokers love Panic at the Disco. I really, really am starving. This is like, I feel like they're like frying this up fresh. Those french fries aren't so freaking fresh. Freaking fresh, fresh. Mama say, I had my hair like back in my photo today. I posted with mukbang. I was like, I like your short hair, you should wear it more like that. Cause it was literally like back like this. And yes, it does look like I got my short hair. There you go. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Okay. All right, I got that good, good lighting. Should I do a quick thumbnail? Or am I gonna literally take up this person's spot? A little late night Mickey D thumbnail. Yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry, I'm leaving it in. Editing, guys, Vlogmas. There's, there's too many good clips to go through to see if I've said anything inappropriate. So we're just not editing. And if I say something inappropriate, I gotta stop the camera because I'll freaking forget. Okay, now there's a lot of traffic, which is giving me anxiety. And the lighting is gonna be really crappy or real soon. Oh my god, there's so many. Ooh, they gave me so many napkins and so many french fries. Okay, french fries are good. Not piping hot like I thought they would be. Mmm. You know what we noticed in Orlando? Everything was way saltier there. Like everything, I was so puffy. I'm eating the humidity and stuff too, and I am puffy, but you could just taste the salt. Like I taste salty things and I like them, but. Mmm. Mm. That's some good ish. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nuggies. Those look pretty fresh. I'm not gonna lie. I wanna make the screen arrow though. We need both. We need to get a bite of the fresh nuggets and then do the green arrow. Mm -hmm. Isn't the green arrow a superhero? <laughs> what a great name. But everyone loves a green arrow. Left turns are just, they're just hard to make. Just are. One top me love. This is really good, but these are also so crazy tonight. I'm trying to think of what to get. Mmm, they're good though. I don't have any meat today. Oh my god. Do I see Kalal? Do you guys know who Kalal is? She is a, I would say, a radical vegan and vegan YouTuber. Like, I followed her on Twitter for years. I've known her for years. Like, I know her in real life, too, and couldn't be sweeter. She's always been really supportive of me. Even though I eat tons of meat and whatever. But, she's super sweet and wonderful, but she just announced she's no longer a vegan, and she was extreme vegan. Like, to the point where 
Like, people literally were, like, getting so mad at her. And she was, like, losing followers. And she didn't care because, you know, she was promoting something she believed in. So, I get that. If you really are, like, I've never been super passionate about controversial topics. Just in general. Not even because they're controversial. I've just never been super passionate about maybe religion. But even that, I don't preach so much because I think that's something you got to find on your own and, like, your own path. Like, but I know, but, like, politics or, like, veganism or, like, stuff that can, can be considered controversial. Like, I've just never had strong opinions on. Like, if you're vegan, cool. Like, if you're not, cool. Like, you know, whatever. But. I can't watch her full video. And she's done these videos which are kind of cool. They're basically a podcast. It's like a black screen and her just talking. And it's kind of like a weird experience for a YouTube because I'm used to seeing her on her YouTube channel. So it's kind of weird to just like listen to her voice. But there is something kind of soothing about it too. Well, I don't know. I didn't watch the whole thing. Something with her hormones are imbalanced or something. It was really interesting though. You hear that all the time, like be being a vegan is not good for your health. I know vegan YouTubers in real life that eat fish and stuff because it's not a vegan is, like being full vegan isn't good for the health, but they will never say it. Because they don't want vegans to turn against them, which is kind of sad. I'm kind of glad the whole vegan trend is, like, kind of over. I'm not saying, like, don't be a vegan anymore, but, like, it used to be such a fad to push veganism. And if you weren't a vegan, it was, like, a witch hunt for you. It's interesting, though, that these vegans are turning back into eating meat, which, you know, I don't have an opinion. Like I said, I don't really have strong opinions on it either way. I'm like, cool, okay, they're going to eat meat, but I imagine... the vegan community would be cry cry about it. One taught me love. One taught me patience. One taught me pain. Who's the one in Ariana Grande's song do you think it taught her pain, patience, and love? Who taught her love? Who taught her patience? Who taught her pain? I don't think Pete Davidson taught her patience because they be getting engaged quickly. <laughs> I ain't mad at because I have goals. I want someone to engage me in a month. At first I was like, ooh, pain, shade. Who was like, who's the one that caused her pain? And then I was thinking, oh, probably Matt Miller's death. That would be pretty painful, I would assume. I talked about this once before, but I had one boyfriend, when well, he was an ex-boyfriend, passed away. And it is like a weird, it's a weird feeling being so intimate and close with someone. And then they're, they're gone. It's, it's really like, it's almost kind of eerie and I hate saying that, but it's almost kind of like, I don't know, like, I have like, I have, have, I have vivid dreams. Even though I only dated this guy probably like a few months and we like knew each other for a year, but that passed away. I talked about him a lot through my YouTube channel because I met, I met him when I was like 18. I even have a video of like literally thinking like I've seen his ghost, like just really scary stuff. And um, I, I, like I'll go through emails and stuff and it's such a miserable feeling. Like it's miserable and like you just want that person to be back and you want to be with that person. It's really weird. That's why I never like breakups. They feel like deaths to me. Someone is no longer in your life that you really love to care about. And that's why I can't do the breakup thing. I cannot break up with somebody. I can't. Because like, once I love you, I love you. And I want to be in your life. Like it's, every breakup I've had has been a forced breakup. Meaning either they cheated or they left. Or I did an exposed video on them. And they're just like, bye, peace. We're never talking again. Um... Is it weird that I kind of want an ice cream cone from the next McDonald's on this freeway? That would be, you know, Thanksgiving, right? Sounds delicious. Did I have to do McDonald's at once? What the heck, eggnog milkshake? 
to check it out. One taught me love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to get a new car mount for my new car. But I'm just really aesthetic of the car. You have like a big ugly crane in there. This is my only vlog car. You do have to one of these cheap Amazon things in my Lamborghini. $25 camera holder and a $200,000 car. I would do that too. <laughs> Anything for the vlog. I'm stuck about Vlogmas. I've been vlogging every minute of my life now. I'm like, let me get that camera out. Let me capture this moment. One taught me Okay. Once I get this ice cream, I can't eat any more salty things. I can't go back and forth. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I love a double line. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 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 Oh, Hi, yes, can I have a, uh, can I have a vanilla cone small, please? Okay. Anything else? No, that's it. Okay, so the vanilla cone, 129. Okay, thank you. I hate when I get the crystal over chicken nugget. Perfect time to end this meal portion of the eating show. Ugh. The gristle's just the worst. Does it pay here? Okay, hi. Okay, thank you, next. <laughs> hi. Hi, nice cone? Yes. Okay, 129. Okay. One taught me love. Thank you. Gristle. I saw like four nuggets left. Like a quarter of the price. Thank you. You're Let me get it. All mm -hmm. oh, that McDonald's is open on a holiday. Oh, I feel so bad for the employees. You know what? Maybe they don't have anything better to do on Thanksgiving. Honestly, that's me. We work at fast food. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're, You're a YouTuber, right? I am. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah, my ex like she loved your videos. Oh, really? Yeah, she would she would always like we were watching together. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, I would say say hi, but I guess you guys don't talk anymore. Yeah. So, <laughs> have a good night. You too. <laughs> oh, baby, good size. It's actually a perfect size. Sometimes they give you way too much ice cream. <laughs> what do you say to that? What would you guys say to that? My ex loves you. <laughs> well, she has good taste. Why did you dump her? Or why'd she dump you? <laughs> You're so weird. That's a weird thing. He's nice though. I can tell you knew me. He's smiling. <laughs> hey, what's up? Oh my god, I love ice cream cones. I gotta go back for Chicago tonight. I don't even know what to wear. I think we're literally there today. Which is annoying. But I guess good because I do need to get back and do work. Oh, one taught me love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's my boyfriend. <laughs> That's my boyfriend, y'all. He texted me. Mm. Okay, we're gonna have a 405. We're gonna see how the traffic is. So it said green an hour ago, but everything changes in an hour here. Mm. Looks pretty clear. The 405, y'all. I'm gonna buy a Porsche. I just addicted to buying a car. Ooh, it's dark on the freeway. 
my dad's like, why don't you start a podcast? <laughs> he doesn't really know anything about social media. It's kind of a funny question. I was like, I want to. I don't want to like start a proper one. I was like, guess-ish. I would love to. I love talking to people. I feel like my YouTube channel is kind of like a podcast though. tickets in Puerto Rico went on sale a couple weeks ago starting Lin Manuel Miranda and they're not also that I want to do the five thousand dollar VIP one but I have no one to go with and I also don't want to travel to Puerto Rico by myself just because it's a foreign country and I don't want to be alone in a foreign country not that it's scary or anything I'm sure Puerto Rico is beautiful I actually went there once on a cruise and it was amazing even though I only spent a day there does anyone want to go with me <laughs> like anyone I know in real life because I mean Nothing creepier than going alone to a foreign country is going with a stranger to a foreign country. <laughs> well, if I know you in real life, or maybe at least met or talked online, hit me up. It's in January. I want to go. My boyfriend doesn't like Hamilton. Hey, I see you. I see you, but I'm a safe driver and I can't text that.
so, so, so. So this is what it feels like to match with someone at your level. What the hell is the catch? It's the feeling of freedom of seeing the light. It's when freaking with a can of kite. You see it, right? I can't see such a tomb. It's maybe three minutes. So everything's in total agreement. It's a dream and it's a bit of a dance. A bit of a posture. It's a bit of a stance. It's a bit of a blur. But I'm going to give it a chance. I asked about his family. Did you see his answer? He seems to start fidgeting. He looks scant. He's fighting. 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 He's fighting.